and we're back. Has my hair gone grey? Oh God! Tell you what, we're having the run around with this uh, this here Audi. Right. Come around. Tell you where we're up to now. I did a did a, quick, a global scan of it before. The blow motor is not located under there on this model. It lives there. So you've got your blower motor, your blower motor control module. And to get at that, you've got to take the trim off the bottom of the windscreen, which is always a twitchy bum moment when it's cold. But you can see we've not broken the windscreen. We've managed to save the windscreen this time. Not normally one of my specialties. So where we're up to, this is the fault codes that were stored in it. When I, when I first scanned it. So we've got air quality sensor, open or short to positive. We've got local data bus, electrical fault in circuit. And we've got AC pressure temperature sensor, lower limit exceeded intermittently. Now, what I've done there, I've actually made a rod for me back. I made note of the um, fault codes, but I, I pretty much ignored them. I, I really did think I was just going to jump onto a seized blower motor. So I went, went been roll around the houses, and where where we're up to on it now. If I disconnect this plug here from the control module to the blower motor, the blower motor spins. So the blower motor's free; it's not seized. I've got power on the red black. A really good ground on the uh, on the brown wire and the red blues terminal 15 from the solar solar module on it and then the little black yellow that I've got back probe there is the local day it's the data bus wire from the, the from the climate control and I've got basically I had zero volts on that wire um, I had my Pico plugged in basically and I was looking at it and I had zero volts on that wire and I'm thinking well that's a bit rum so I went into I thought right okay let's check the fuses I'd already checked this fuse down here the 40 amp for the blow motor and that's fine and I'm going through the fuses and I found a blown fuse here blown 5 amp fuse and uh, sure enough when I look at the when I look at the list it's uh, listed for AC control fuse 5 5 amp so I've put that fuse back in there and I've got then on the black yellow I've got a, a full 12 volts I've got a steady 12 volt on there now I'm thinking to myself well why have I got 12 volts on there because if we've got 12 volts it's not a data signal so I go into actuations using VCDS and uh, actuate it and it's telling me the voltage is changing and nothing's changing so I then clear the fault codes and do another scan and the only code that's remaining now is that local data bus electrical fault in circuit and I'm thinking well how does that tie in okay I've got I've got 12 volts on the on that wire and it shouldn't be it should be a LIN signal so then I pull my wiring diagrams up first of all I go to water data and I'm looking looking at it. so basically you've got your blow motor your blow motor control um, refrigerant pressure circuit, uh, pressure sensor and a black yellow wire here coming from the aircon control module to the pressure sensor to that and I'm thinking well how's that work here's me here's me me feed so what's this doing and basically this should be a wind signal and it's not so then I go on to the manufacturer's wiring diagrams and it, it does it corresponds with the uh, corresponds with auto data so we've, again we've got the motor the control module which is on the side of the blower motor and the refrigerant pressure sensor all the wiring colors tally up and all that so then I start looking through and start reading about the pressure sensor and where the interesting bit comes is when we go down at the bottom here it says the Audi A6 is only to be fitted with the temperature sensor housing colour grey, electronic parts catalogue. The A6 is not to be fitted with the G65 housing colour black because it only emits square wave signals. So 
basically what I think is happening here is this either 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 the control module faulty, which I'm I'm doubting, or I've got a short to positive on here. And the only way I'm going to get a short to positive maybe is if this air compressor switch is actually shorted internally and I'm getting the ignition feed and it's actually shorting and just pulling this up to 12 volts all the time instead of it being a lint signal so the next thing is is to get at that sensor and on these it's easier said than done the pressure sensor actually lives down there so it's a bumper off job um, I just thought I'd share that with you it's not, not one not a system that I see every day um, no heater resistor in it, it's all, it's all done um, via a data bus so we'll get this bumper off, it might not be today but we'll get this bumper off and we'll do some more testing and uh, we'll update you on it when I've actually found what's going on but my me, me strong suspicion is is that that uh, refrigerant pressure sensor's shorted to positive so it's, it's basically sending a, a 12 volt feed all the time to the control module Right, thanks for watching